There's a game called Littlewood that I actually mentioned last week on the podcast. I noticed that I just went 1.0 on Steam. Doesn't seem like a lot of people are talking about it, but it is very, very good if you are in the mood for something in between Animal Crossing and a Stardew Valley, where it starts out and it seems like, okay, this seems like it's going to be a Stardew Valley situation, but then as you play it more, you realize it's actually quite a bit different. It's more about town building, relationship building, uh, and customization overall. You can actually change the entire layout of your town and people want to be near other things. So you're both building up and giving people what they want for the customization of their homes, but then figure out like, okay, I want to be near the coffee shop, but then this per- person wants to be near this person and then that has to be near this coffee shop. So it kind of has like a dark cloud one element, but it's made by one developer named Sean Young. Um, and the framework which at first is like okay this is a nice little gimmick but it actually it works throughout the entire game here um is your main character has amnesia and it's as if this is the aftermath of a huge rpg so everyone's talking about like oh my god the hero of solemn what a crazy move i can't believe you beat the dark wizard that's nuts it's like i don't know what anybody's talking about and so then it's just like all your companions <laughs> were on that quest with you and they're like oh man remember that bit with the fish that was crazy like Oh, that's right. You don't remember that? Okay. So it's like this fun vibe of just getting to know people. Believe it or not, everybody wants to go on dates with you. Absolutely everybody. So you can <laughs> kiss your way through this town. It's a, it's a real fun time. And so everyone's trying to just get to know each, each other in the aftermath of this huge battle that had just happened. And now you're just basically Thanos farming. You know, it's like, all right, I got a little crop out here. I'm going to move this thing over here, go to the mines today, uh, upgrade these things over here. Um, it kind of looks like a little bit in that vein of uh, GBA Pokemon, kind of pretty streamlined, simplistic, minimalist art style overall. But I have just been loving it. It has like everything that's frustrating about Animal Crossing for uh, in the quality of life front this game just nails. You know, it's so handy that it just, you don't have to have different items equipped to break a rock, to take down a tree, do this thing. It's like, whatever you go up to, it knows exactly what you're trying to do. If you go up to the water and hit a button, you're going to throw out the fishing pole. Or even if there are characters in your way, if you keep walking past them, it'll just pop you on the other side of them. It is just Mm. as convenient as it can possibly be just to get you in that loop of slowly improving your town, building out your farm if you want to do that, get into cooking if you want to do that. It's a delight. It's one of my favorite experiences of the year so far. Uh, I've really, really been loving Littlewood. And it's just on Steam right now. The developer said that once it went 1.0, which it now is 1.0, that he was going to start working on the Switch version. And it feels right. like it's going to be one of those games that when this hits Switch, people are going to lose their mind. It's going to be like a Hollow Knight second bump, I would imagine. If you enjoyed this clip from the MinMax Show podcast, we think you'll like the full show too. You can find it by subscribing to MinMax's YouTube channel or on your favorite podcast app. Any help spreading the word to keep our whole indie operation here running is appreciated. We're here for and because of the wonderful MinMax community, so you're welcome to join. 